as we go thrifting today, I do have an appointment in Paris, Kentucky, but let me tell you about what you're looking at. Remember the old barn that they were going to move? Well, we found out that farmer has sold part of his field for a soccer complex, and there is KU getting the lines all put back together. Uh, on that day that we were out and about, and he just moved it across the street to that side of his farm. Now, this is the Goodwill in Paris, Kentucky. I had an appointment at the hospital today, so we just wanted to make it a go ahead and find us some thrifting over there. So you're going to see that I did find quite a few items, and these are items for my boo. I am looking for Christmas because I don't have very much to go in my booth, so I will be shopping for that. If I happen to find any of the fall items, I will go ahead and pick them up as well. And also any kind of farmhouse type items, signs, dishes. And looking at this after I get home, I see little things that I actually missed. And, you know, we're not going to drive all the way back over there just to get one item. But that's what happens when you're shopping in and through a camera lens. Uh, the dishes that you see me pick up, there was two sets of Christmas dishes. I wish I went ahead. I had them in my cart. But when I got it check out, I wasn't sure if they would sell. I wish I did go ahead. They had $9.99 on each set, each box. So these were, and they were a vintage set. Uh, you know, we won't cry over spilt milk and we'll just definitely move on and move forward. Uh, there's other Goodwills and outlets to uh, look and find new items. Uh, they had changed things up a little bit here. They had more aisles of uh, glassware and dishes and wood items to look at than they normally did. So, you know, we, uh, we were supposed to rush back home because our ADA air conditioning uh, guy was supposed to stop by, but they had a call in and they couldn't make it that day. So guys, we've been with the air uh, for about two days when I'm videoing this, but uh, when they did come by the next day, we found out that the blower motor is out. We are under warranty. That will be taken care of. But yes, we're going to be a week uh, with no AC in our home. <laughs> uh, you know, what can I say? It is a humbling experience. Larry did help with some of the videoing while we were in this Goodwill. Uh, thank you, honey, for helping out. That allows me to look at some of the things uh, without looking through a camera lens and looking for some things for our booth for the upcoming holidays. Of course, I was looking for little unique items, you know, that I haven't seen before. I uh, also was looking for uh, some of the vases, uh, candlesticks. They're always a big seller. And so some of the vases, because I'm gonna be doing a flip in doing that vase that everybody wants to see, I thought I would try to find a couple of more vases to do and make it a complete video of a couple of DIY flips but I haven't found anything just yet but I have kept in mind and read all of your comments I know you want to see that process when I do that six dollar vase that I thrifted a couple of weeks back and uh, I have read all of those comments and I know you want to see it so I am planning on that I want to just take a moment, if you're new here, and introduce myself. My name's Rebecca, and my husband's name is Larry. I do a lot of thrift with me, and I'm now doing a few DIY flips. 
I have a booth that I share with everybody. So if this is the kind of content that you would like to see, I would love to have you hit that subscribe button and become a part of this. So today's video was a blue tag. So you see blue all over those boxes. And I did pick up these two boxes of dishes for the Christmas holiday and I put them in my cart, but when I got up to the checkout, keep in mind, I have said this before, they don't do the tag except only on clothing. They don't do it on hats. I don't think uh, they do it on pillows or purses, just clothing alone. So guys, yes, I got two carts full, but there's a large toad in that second one. And I found a large toad of yarn and very happy to find that. So come along, when I get home, I'm gonna share everything with you. Hey, sweet friends, just to update you, and we decided that instead of being so uncomfortable for this week, that we decided to go ahead and get a small window air conditioner just to help uh, the comfort out. That helps us through the week not be so miserable and hot. So just sort of want to throw that in there and let you know that uh, that we're okay. Friends, I hope that you can hear me over the air conditioning. Uh, we uh, don't have our air AC unit fixed yet, but we have a little window air conditioner. So we're staying pretty comfortable and we've had some cool nights and then it heats up in the day but we're pretty comfortable here so we're waiting for them to order that motor uh, blower motor for our unit and they will come put it in as soon as they get it so i'm here to share my Goodwill haul, and I actually have a couple items from a yard sale or two that I may have come, come up on while we were out and about, but you know, not anything big, just an item or two here or there. So I have a lot to show you and share with you, so I'm going to try to go through this as quickly as I can. First item uh, picked up at Goodwill. This was just a little Happy Harvest pumpkin. They had $2.99 on it. This will go in my booth. And how cute. And the color is really cute too. So you could do a lot of things with that. Uh, put it on one of those little wreaths and set it on a plate or in a basket. Just a lot of different things. Set it up on the shelf. Uh, if you didn't like this, you could turn it around and just use this side. Uh, the next fall item that I found was just this little candy dish of a maple leaf bowl and they wanted $1.59. I haven't cleaned anything up. This is pretty clean. This will go to the booth. These cute little adorable tea lights are of owls. There was two, 99 cents each and these will be cleaned up and put in my booth. I did find this little brass candlestick and I'm not sure that I'm even gonna clean it up. I mean, I'm gonna clean it up, wipe dust it up, but I don't know that I'm gonna polish it up. Some people like the age old look, $1.59. I went ahead and picked that up and I may find a candle, but this will go in the booth. Another item I found is these little number and letter stencils. They were $1.59, but Larry and I use these quite often. So I thought it might be something that we can use in the shop. So these will go out to the shop. You guys know I don't pass up any kind of signed pottery. This is cute. This is, let me see if I can read it. Yes, I do have new glasses on, guys. <laughs> I got some good news. My eye doctor said that uh, I will not need any eye surgery for quite a few years. So he did help me find some contact lenses that 
I can wear and very comfortable. So anyway, I'm happy about that. But yes, new, new specs. Uh, Williamsburg Pottery. And this was just 59 cents. How beautiful is that? No nicks or cracks or anything. And stamped, it's stamped on the bottom. Williamsburg Pottery. And this may go on my Poshmark to begin with. If it doesn't sell, I'll put it in the booth. Lemons, and these really look like the lemons. They wanted $4 for the bag, but I don't know, I may keep these and use them in my home, or I may find something to put them in for the booth. But $4, and these actually have little stems on them like they were actually used in maybe a floral arrangement. This item would be for the holidays and it'll be for the booth. But how adorable, and I'm just gonna show you, here's some cute little plates that I found, but you could put a small bowl there, a little plate or even a larger plate in there uh, for holiday treats. This is done in a sort of like a gold tone and it could be spray painted black or green or, but I'm gonna leave it as is. I paid $2.99 and it'll go in the booth. This item I knew was a vintage item. They want it $2.99. I don't see any nicks or cracks on the little flyer there. And it is a, a jewelry trinket box. Let me see if I can get it apart. It's got some grazing to it, but that just tells the age of it. I don't see any nicks or chips on it. Just a little bit of grazing to it. And that is going to go either on Poshmark or in the booth. When I seen these little village houses, they're, they're just made in China but they're so adorable. And although the color of them is cute, $2.99 each. Uh, this one, I'll show you up close. How cute is that? And then this one is uh, like a little wrist meal, just like a little village. And this one is country antiques and I'll clean them up and I'll spray paint them and make a village for the holidays. And this is something that I'm gonna keep and use at home. Because I'm thinking I've got a big sideboard to fill up and I wanna do something like that. I did find some dishes, some holiday plates. You could put it on a stand and put it on a shelf or you can serve some treats on it. $1.99 for that. These little cookie for Santa. These are 59 cents. Two cookies for Santa. And this one says, tis the season. All 59 cents each. A couple of, another couple of, um, Stoneware, 59 cents. I got two of those. Another item is this little wooden with the metal on it. And I'm not sure that I'm even gonna change the color. It does have a sticker that I'm either gonna put another sticker over that as a, like a label, or I'm gonna just clean that off with probably a little Dawn. But I may just leave it because it's a, a beautiful color for the fall and maybe put some kind of arrangement in it. But this will go in the booth. It's so hard to get rid of some of this stuff because I'm like, oh, I can use it here or I can use it there. And before I know what my house is filled up with stuff and I do have to, I do have to let go every once in a while. Now this next item is a homemade item. And how cute is he? 
The only problem was his eyes. I don't know if those are supposed to be his eyes or whether he had some little beads or buttons. I don't know, you guys look at those and let me know. Would you put something on those or leave them as they are? Uh, in this little bag, I am gonna put either some greenery twigs or something like that, but he is homemade for $1.99 and he will go in the booth. Next item, you guys are gonna have to help me on this. This is a Fiesta, a USA Homer Laughlin, lead free, it says. And I don't know that this is just supposed to be a bowl or was there something, a lid that went over this? You guys look at this and, and tell me, am I missing something here or is this just a bowl, a serving bowl, or is it supposed to have some lid? $1.99 for Homer Laughlin stoneware. I'm not gonna pass it up because, you know, you can uh, add some lemons in here and it'll still look really nice. Now, we always look at the hats when we go thrifting. Larry browsed through them this round I didn't go over there and look, I should have, because I'm always looking for those little denim hats that are big sellers. But he did find this one, and this is a U.S. Marine hat. I don't know if it's an official kind of hat. You can see it there on the bill right here, and then the patch. And hats are a big seller for me. So I do like to get them, and especially I like to find these derby hats. And this was the 140th Kentucky Derby, and I will clean it up. It says Churchill Downs, May 3rd, 2014 on the back. And I clean them up, uh, I, especially on the inside here where somebody may have wore these and sweat a little bit. I think these were $1.99. I will clean them up. I have a process that I clean all of my hats and I will list this on Poshmark. And also this one is brand new, uh, 47 uh, adjustable Churchill Downs on the back. And this was the 144th Kentucky Derby. Brand new with tags. And this one, I will sell as is. So I don't think this has even be whole, uh, been wore. Uh, and this says it was $29.99. And it doesn't necessarily mean that I will sell this hat at $29.99 uh, for the mere fact that when, uh, when you can't find the hats uh, any longer and people are collecting them, that makes them more valuable. So I'll do a little research on it and then I will uh, list it on my Poshmark closet. I did find these shoes. Chuck Taylor's Converse All Star. Now, I grant you, they look a little dirty. I believe these were four bucks and I will clean them up. If the string doesn't clean up, I will put a new a lace on it. I will clean all of this up, clean the soles, and then I will list these in my Poshmark closet, and these will probably sell anywhere from $25 to $35. As I'm always looking for things to use in my uh, Poshmark closet, and one of the things that I use are the, this tissue paper. I use this tissue paper when I wrap an item for Poshmark and I usually wrap it up, and I'll, I'll go over that with you one day. I use some lace. I use one of my little business cards, and I'll show you that one day. And I, so when I'm out and about and I find all this tissue paper, I pick it up. It doesn't matter what color it is. I usually just pick a color and wrap the item with this and some lace and my business card. So I'm always in search of that kind of stuff at yard sales and Goodwill. Another thing that I'm looking for for my booth this year is uh, wrapping paper and, and bags. 
So I seen this, this was $2.99. There is some gift bags. I see one, two, three there. And it looks like a larger one. And actually I will put these in my booth because if somebody is shopping for an item for someone, it doesn't have to be a new item. They could find a vintage item. Uh, also, you can sometimes find new items at Vendor Village and maybe, you know, a one-stop shopping experience. They also have a gift bag to grab for that item. Now, I actually went looking uh, this round for Christmas items to put in the booth. And isn't he just adorable? He's holding this little sign that says Merry Christmas. He's got his little wire legs. You can hang him on the wall, hang him on a door. Uh, it does need just a tad bit of glue right here. I'll take him out to the shop and glue and nail it. And he's got his little metal rim hat and got his little burlap scarf, some little bells and a carrot nose. And how cute is he? $2.99, this will go in my booth. A little sign, just a little snowman. And just says happy holidays on a little piece of burlap. A very rustic, got a wire hanger. I don't know, I may add a little uh, Christmas bow. And then I paid $1.99 for that. That'll go in the booth. This is a cheese box, got it for $3.99. And this will go in the booth. Now, it, those markings, I'm just gonna leave the markings on there, but we're, we're just gonna do a resale on this. And I'm not sure what the going price is, but I will list it and price it I mean, I will put it in the booth and price it accordingly. Here I have three of these frames. And Larry wanted these. He is redoing some of my calendars. He, uh, calendar pages that has scripture on it. And he's going to use these frames. And we got three of them. And he, I think he's going to spray paint the gold and I'm not sure what color and he'll put a little hanger on the back it already has one he may reuse that but he picked up some of those frames uh, to do up some of those calendar and here was another one uh, this was a very nice wood frame it said Cedar Creek collection for $2.99 but it looks like that the picture itself in there is sort of faded so you know, it's just sort of had its day, so we're gonna repurpose that. More holiday items, and I'm not sure if these will sell. I think they're cute. They want it 99 cents, and it is just a couple of little angels. And this is sort of, I guess, more the primitive style, but there's a few people left. You know, if these don't sell, I'll bring them home and paint them and make signs out of them. This actually came from Marshall's. It's got this, still got this sticker on it. $1.99 for this, it's metal, piece on earth. This is all ceramic and hand painted. Very pretty. And it has a hanger on the back and I gave $1.99. There's a little hanger on the back to hang it. I guess you could use it, set it up on the shelf or on the stand. I'll give you a close up. That's pretty. That will go in the booth. I am always looking for signs uh, for my booth and this just needs to be cleaned up and wiped up a little, 99 cents. It looks like it was originally uh, $10. So joy to the world. And I think that'll be a good seller. This one, uh, Larry noted, is a little lopsided, and I don't think it's really gonna matter. It'd be a great shelf sitter. You could hang it up. It's got the little hangers on the back. $1.99 for this. Looks like this was a Hobby Lobby item, 
for $16 and I got it for $1.99. I just need to clean it up a little bit and it'll go in the boot. This was a, just another frame that Larry's gonna use for $1.99. Solid wood and those are always a win-win. This wreath was a nice wreath. It looks, I'm not sure where it came from. Uh, I'm gonna take the high sign off of it. I just don't think it looks great on there. And I, I like the greenery just by itself, but I will, you can see the big sign, $4.99 for the wreath, and I will take the high sign off and sell it separately. But I just like the wreath itself. We'll go in my booth. This item we got from a yard sale, and I need to dust it and clean it. I can't remember what we paid for it. It's an American alphabet, and it was hand done with stitching like a country sampler. And I think that we gave eight or ten dollars at a yard sale for this. It's really huge. It looks like an 18 by 24 inch. And I don't know that I'm going to change a whole lot of it, guys, other than just cleaning it up and putting it in the booth because it is a handmade item and I just love that. It's got the hangers already on the back. It's also been covered. It's not signed or anything, but one of those samplers and that will go in my booth. Okay guys, we went by a yard sale and they had all of this uh, wrapping paper. And like I said, this will go in my booth because of people's buying uh, holiday items. But I think I gave, I'm not sure. I think I gave $6 for all of it. Maybe it was eight. This was originally $9.99, printed and assembled in the USA. And this one, it must be the Star Wars one he's talking about. So we'll check into that, see if it's worth a little more. So we'll check it out and I'll let you know. Guys, I think that, uh, that does it for this haul and I need to clean some of the stuff up and I try not to bring home too many projects because it's easy to do and the next thing you know you've got all of these projects that you have to do before you can move on to something else so I really like to try to find things that I can just clean up put a label on and take it to the booth uh, because you know that dead pile stacks up but enough about that i hope that you enjoyed uh, this video and you can really help my channel by giving me a thumbs up and if you're too shy to leave me a comment just leave me a heart i appreciate it and i thank you all very much i love each and every one of you for supporting me and I thank you, and I will see you in my next video. And you guys have a wonderful and safe and great week.